Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play the decimal version of Math Balloons. If you're not familiar with uh, MathNook, we have over 200 free math games to play as well as free fun, uh, puzzle, and logic games. There's never any membership or sign up required. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the game. This is a menu you'll see. If you click this button, the instruction button here, this will take you to the written instructions. This will take you to the video tutorial that you're watching now. And this more games button will take you to the games on our website. Let's go ahead and click start. And when you first start out, the first level will be unlocked. The other levels are locked. Once you successfully complete the first level, then the next level will become unlocked. And you can either play that level or go back and try to get a better score on the previous level. There's no score now because I've not completed the level. Once you complete successfully complete a level, then you will get a score here. Okay, let's go ahead and click the first level. Now, this plays like any other match three game, and the object of the game is to make... Uh, uh, match three or more of the same colored balloons in a row, either horizontally or vertically. And once you do that, the squares that they're on where the match is made will, uh, the background will turn from uh, gray to yellow. And uh, the way that you successfully complete a level is to have all the squares on the board yellow before a time runs out. And um, you also have to have, uh, you cannot lose all your uh, lives. If you if the time runs out before you have all the backgrounds yellow, or you lose all your lives, then um, the level will end, and you'll have to play it again to successfully complete it. And uh, or you can always uh, restart it with this button here. This button does restart the level, as you can see. Just restart it there. This this button takes you to the menu. This toggles the music on and off. This toggles the sound on and off. And this pauses the game, and you get back to the game by clicking that button there. Okay, so the way you uh, make matches, well, you'll have to remove balloons, and the way you remove balloons is you're given a problem, you have to answer if, the, if it's true or false, because the problem comes with an answer. Okay, so to make a match here, what I'm going to do is get rid of this balloon, this balloon, these two balloons will drop in, and I'll get rid of this red balloon, and this orange one will be here, and I'll have a match made there and there. So 2.2 times 2 is 4.4, that's true. This is uh, true. And there's my match. I actually got a bonus match up here. I probably won't be able to finish this because uh, the fact that I've got to kind of go through and explain things. But um, a lot of times, but to win a level, a lot of times you, you these bonus uh, matches that are made will help you out a lot. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go ahead and get rid of these two balloons and have the red one. I'll get rid of, uh, make a match over there. These four squares getting these three backgrounds to yellow. That is true. Uh, that's true. There's a match. Now, when to lose a life, what you have to do, uh, well, what you don't, what you're trying not to do is answer a question incorrectly because if you do, then you'll lose a life. If you notice, I have five lives up here. And 3.2 plus 2 is actually 5.2, but this says 4.2. So I'm going to go ahead and say true, which is incorrect. And I'll get a new problem here, and as you notice, I lost life. That's true. Made a match there. Okay, now a little bit of strategy here. What I'm going to do on this, I'm looking around to, I'm really only concer more concerned about making matches over the gray ones because that's what will uh, help me win the level. So I'm going to go ahead and say true there. Uh, that's false. Now looking around, there's couple of things I can do and uh, typically I like to work from the bottom because if you work from the bottom and make matches lower uh, lower on the board then there's a better chance you'll have uh, some bonus matches made up top and the bonus matches are simply where by removing uh, making a match and removing some balloons you may uh, make a match across here for example if I made a match here and these balloons drop down and a green one moved from up top down here then a match would be made there and that's kind of like a bonus match okay what I might do I'm trying to look around try to remove some of these bottom ones so what I'm gonna do is try to bring this purple one down here and this is true uh, three point that's true made a match there and uh, let's say I'm gonna go ahead and try to get one see if I can get a green one to make a match for these 
match up with these two down here. Uh, true. There's a green one and had a match. There we go. It doesn't look like I'm going to win, but uh, I'm going to certainly try. Well, got rid of that one, so uh, I'm going to make this green one down here. Now, let's see. What I might try is go ahead. Uh, try to get a green one here, and I'll get rid of that, that one over there. that one and focus more on getting rid of these down here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. There we go. Got rid of a bunch of them there. Now if I can get a green one here, I'll get rid of that. And I'm, I almost could finish that, this level, but I doubt if I'm going to. But I'll let you see what it looks like when you uh, the level ends. And I'm not getting one I need here. I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I got get that cooked. So we're down, coming down to nine seconds. I almost completed the level. Um, and we'll see what it looks like when it ends here. I could always restart it once I, okay, this basically tells me that I ran out of time and I can try again. At this point, I can restart the level, uh, submit my score, or go back to the main menu. Well, that uh, concludes the overview of this video. I hope that you enjoy playing the decimal version of Math Balloons. I hope the videos helped, and thanks for watching.